Hello everyone, my name is Kwame. I'm a developer ambassador at Algorand and uh, today I'll be doing another mashup of content that's created by the Algorand team um, and just kind of do it in a little bit of a different way. And um, today I'll be using Liz Barron's Algorand Pay transaction tutorial and I'll be using something called Reach. Uh, Reach is awesome. It's uh, kind of blue, blue blows my mind, and as I keep working with it, I keep getting blown away. Um, I'm going to kind of assume a couple things that um, you've kind of gone here and downloaded this uh, uh, downloaded reach and have it uh, working uh, just for this part. Okay, so I have a project that's in WebStorm. You don't necessarily need to use WebStorm. Um, any editor will do. Um, I'm just going to go into the terminal and I'm just going to uh, just make sure that I have access to the reach compiler. Now you'll see here that we have an init and this is going to set up a, um, a scaffold up an app for us. So let's just do that. So go forward, reach and init. And you can see here that it's created us a, a reach file and a scaffold, uh, kind of like a front-end uh, JavaScript file. So let's uh, just go in here. Can we see that we have this? Yeah, we'll add those in. And I'll just kind of move this over. Well, that was weird. Um, okay, so in this uh, program here, you can see that in the reach program, it's very similar if you're from kind of like a Solidity uh, base world, you'll have the the import for the reach program. You'll have the start. We have our relationship between Alice and Bob, and that relationship between Alice and Bob is very similar in a lot of uh, documentation on you know relationships in in cryptographic uh, you know situations. Um, so with that being said. Um, that's the part for for uh, for this, and then everything in here would be uh, what uh, Alice and Bob can do. Um, now, inside of this index file, uh, it just basically loads up the standard library for Reach. It uh, gets our uh, main.js kind of like minifies everything from the back end that allows us to uh, deploy stuff to um, the different chains, either Ethereum or Algorand. Uh, we kind of start off. We um, start off with a starting balance here. We fund the two accounts for Alice and Bob. Um, we create, we deploy uh, the contract to the back end, and then we get Bob to attach itself to that back end, and then he gets information about this contract. And then here, there's there's basically. Uh, nothing that's going on and just kind of like a hello world. It's basically like a, a hello world for reach. So now we can go out and actually compile this. So we can just use the compile keyword and this will actually compile out um, our program. All right, so now we can do um, a reach run and this will actually um, this is building out a um, Ethereum-based project. Now, there's a lot of you know magic going on here. So let me um, do a, a reach underscore debug and have that equal um, one. And now we'll see a lot more of the information that is happening behind the scenes. So let's go ahead and do this, but we will do it for Algorand. So I'm going to uh, just go in here and there is a reach connector mode. And I'm just going to copy and paste this just for time and brevity's sake. So I'll paste that in here. And now we'll actually, um, this is gonna be for Ethereum, uh, sorry, for Algorand. First one was for Ethereum. Now we're gonna do a build and deploy for Algorand. And you can see that testnet's going. We see all this beautiful stuff happening. And 
We see the send confirmation. So this is all the same stuff that was happening in the example or the tutorial that I showed you that Liz did. And we didn't have to write any code to get this. And this will kind of flow itself out, kind of let us do its thing. I find a way when you record that uh, it doesn't happen as fast and then I say something and it starts doing more stuff. So we see that we got the Genesis, Genesis hash here. We have our send confirmation and then everything was successful and done. And so there you go. There, there is a cross-platform um, DAP distributed application for both Ethereum and for Algorand. Reach is an awesome language. Uh, if you're a distributed application programmer and you're uh, looking for a language to, to bite your teeth on, um, this will definitely be it. Um, very bullish on this uh, language. And uh, we'll continue to, I'm going to be making games um, with this, um, even with some of the limitations that we will see. Um, but it's, it's definitely worth it to learn if you're getting into distributed applications. Thank you. My name is Kwame, and I'll see you in the next video.